Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we have some really interesting news to discuss pertaining to an iOS 12.1 jailbreak. Now this isn't the first time this has happened, but this is the most substantial and impressive jailbreak bounty I've ever seen been raised by the community directly. Now we've had jailbreak bounties for iOS versions in the past, typically by major companies offering thousands, if not millions of dollars. I think the highest jailbreak bounty I've ever seen has been 1.5 million for an iOS 11 jailbreak. But this time I just wanted to uh, make a note here. This will be one of the rare occurrences I actually take you to an R jailbreak post. A user on Reddit has offered 10,000 Canadian dollars for an iOS 12.1 jailbreak. And multiple users as well have tagged in offering 2,000 or just basically more donations, making the total right now roughly about $20,000 Canadian dollars that is, which roughly equates to about 11,000 US dollars. In any sense, uh, this is the post I'm talking about. Now the original poster's uh, demands being the jailbreak be released in the next 48 hours, that's a little bit ridiculous, but in any case, it's just really impressive that $10,000 has been offered by a single user. I mean, this has gotten five golds. I think it's hilarious down in the comment section, pretty much almost every single comment has received gold on this post. Probably one of the most interactive posts I've seen, uh, 3.8K upvotes, 2.4 comments, so a lot of people are super interested in this, and this just goes to show that so many people are interested in jailbreaking their iOS device, especially on a current firmware being iOS 12.1. Now, really one of the biggest reasons why I bring this up in today's video, I really wanted to know your guys' opinion. Do you think $10,000 is worth a jailbreak coming from a user and coming from a developer? standpoint. Now $10,000 from one single person is a substantial amount of money, but at the same time when companies like Apple are offering $50,000 to $150,000 for the same exact exploits, one single person really pales in comparison, even when you have multiple other donators as well, to making the total roughly twice this amount, even $20,000 for an exploit like this still is rather low. And that just really is unfortunate, but it really goes to show how valuable these exploits are just to do simple things like jailbreaking your device, installing custom themes, because the principles behind these exploits and really what it means, you're breaking iOS, and that's what Apple's main claim to fame is, is making a very secure mobile operating system. And so that is one of the biggest reasons these exploits are so far and few between. There are so many people at work working hard making iOS secure. And when there is a hole exploited and found, Apple wants nothing more than to patch that as soon as possible. Thus is why they're willing to pay so much money to patch it and to have the exploit released to them. So really, I just wanted to share with you guys this new jailbreak bounty roughly around $20,000 Canadian dollars that is or roughly around 11 to 15 I don't know exactly where this is landing right now pretty much has been confirmed by the community though as being legit um, at least the initial 10k donation right here um, by the moderators on our jailbreak but in any sense uh, that is just impressive to me that one person is willing to offer $10,000 for a jailbreak for iOS 12.1. Like I said, it just really goes to show how many people are interested and how intense that interest is for a jailbreak for the latest firmware of iOS. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is not the only jailbreak bounty that has ever been done. Major companies such as security research companies have actually offered their own bounties in the past for iOS 7, 8, 9, 10, and iOS. 11 jailbreaks, but again, those major security companies are offering anywhere from $500,000 to $1.5 million in the past, which really makes this $10,000 offer seem rather low. Again, I still think it's very impressive that the community has come together and raised almost $20,000 for a jailbreak. Considering this now is just a hobby for most people, $20,000 is a substantial 
substantial amount of money coming from a user standpoint, but again, coming from a developer standpoint, $20,000 from the community versus 50,000 or if not more from Apple or another reputable company, it's really hard to justify that loss of income just to please the jailbreak community. But wrapping things up, this post is just really awesome. I'd highly suggest to check it out if you have time today. I will link it down below in the comments section. And again, if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest jailbreaking news, don't forget to bookmark our Best Tech Info website that is dynamically updated so you guys will always be up to date with the latest news pertaining to jailbreaking with iOS 12, iOS 11.4.1, and so forth. All right, well, while we're using Reddit posts, I also found this one right here that I also thought was very interesting. It's a discussion about some developers on Twitter complaining about the 10K bounty that I was just talking about. Now, this user right here making this post initially shares his opinion about the developers complaining. Honestly, he's saying these developers are spreading tweets saying not to donate towards this 10K bounty, that no developer should really even take this into consideration for a zero day um, because they can get 50K plus reporting these exploits to other companies. But this user goes in to share his opinion, basically saying F that, that is absolutely ridiculous. And thanks the jailbreak community for actually allowing such a thing to happen. You know, people are grateful that they would donate this large amount of money for a jailbreak and uh, kind of other people are agreeing with what I say that 48 hours is a bit unreasonable, but this is the first crowdfunded jailbreak to happen. 20K is a lot of money and I really hope something happens because of this. I mean, really, this is absolutely insane that 20K pretty much has been funded directly from the jailbreak community. It's absolutely insane to me. This is the most amount of money I've ever seen offered for a jailbreak directly by the community in itself. But for now, I can't really suggest you guys go and donate to this or anything like that. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is happening in the background, really. A lot of these donations probably can't be verified. People are saying, I'll donate $100, but really, how are they ever going to verify that, honestly, until the, it actually is in the developer's bank account? We'll have to wait and see what comes of this. Will somebody actually take this user up on their 10K offer? Um, or not. I mean, $10,000 is still quite a bit. I know the jailbreak community would definitely be very appreciative for this, and who knows, we might be getting an iOS 12.1 jailbreak sooner than later with this much money at stake directly by the community. It's going to a good source. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's quick video. Again, let me know down in the comments section what you think of this community-based jailbreak bounty. Is $20,000 enough for a jailbreak or not? Anyway, guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.